It's treasure day. No, it really is. It's tre <laughs> Shut up, computer. It's treasure day. I found treasures. I did. I was putting some things away in my little snooze fridge that I have down here. It's snooze. I've got some uh, plug tobacco and some leaf chewing tobacco in there. Not that I use it very much, but I found a tray of snuffs, and these are all made by old mills, some of them going back to 2014. Uh, in my hand, now the problem with uh, Chef Daniel's snuffs was that occasionally he used ingredients that were going to expire. They were not meant to be all that shelf stable. If he used clarified butter <clears throat> in any of his recipes, even refrigerated, I, had, I just threw away two containers of spotted dick, which they both had mold in them. I didn't see it obviously, but I could smell the mold when I opened the tin and sniffed it. Something just wasn't right. Now, I hope a few of these, in fact, have survived. I just took a pinch of the butternut toast, which does, in fact, I believe, have the clarified butter in it, and it was perfectly fine. I don't know. In fact, it's still kind of in my nose, so before I pinch one of these on camera, I think I'm going to grab a disposo hanky here. And, uh, yeah, I ran out of uh, Kleenex, so I'm using paper toweling. A little hard on the nose, but... It, it works in a pinch. Hang on a second. All right. I hope you've been uh, watching this increased upload of videos. I don't know how many of them will be valuable to you. As I wait for my big order from Mr. Snuff and start doing some more reviews of Snuffs I have not yet reviewed, this is the peanut butter jelly from, uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, not peanut butter and jelly, toast jelly from Old Mill. Let me find my spoon here on my magic tray of goodies. Whoa, a big, big chunk of bud, what the hell? Where did that even come from? All right, there's my spoon. Wipe it off here a little bit. Probably should dip it in some alcohol. All right, let's uh, open up the toast jelly and see what we've got going on. Oh, wow, it still smells fine. Now, remember, the toast jelly, again, this might be another one of these with clarified butter. I'm going to get a little pinch out of it on my spoon. And now I can handle it. That's a, Well, that's going to be a very big pinch. That's another reason I don't like spoons, but sorry you had to stare at the top of my head there. I realize my, <clears throat> my hair doesn't look all that great today. Got to get a haircut, but I'm cheap, and I'm holding off. I'm going to get it done before Thanksgiving, you know, when you're supposed to look nice with the fam and all that. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, Chef Daniel, rest in peace, brother. What good, good stuff. Yeah, it's fine. It hasn't lost any aroma. Refrigeration seems to have been the key. It's a little musty, fusty in the background. Not bad. Still sniffable, but more collectible. One problem with the Old Mill snuffs is, while the snuffs were marvelous, the labels have absolutely no longevity. They fade. It's very easy to rub the ink off of them. And so identifying these snuffs, other than by scent, has been pretty difficult. Yeah, I'm very sorry I had to throw away my dick. That was, that was kind of a tragedy, throw away the spotted dick. That made me feel sad. Let's see what else I got here. Moulin Rouge, according to the Braille. Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, no. Yeah, that's, that's gone moldy. That's too bad. And it's hard as a rock in there. Even if I scrape the mold off the top, I wonder how deep it goes. Let's see if I can smell. Okay, now it's better. I might have gotten rid of the mold with just that casual scrape out. But I'm still not comfortable. I do not want to snort mold, so... Goodbye, Moulin Rouge. That's a tragedy. 
I'm sure as I go through these, I will find others that have spoiled, but I am pleased at least that the toast jelly and the Commonwealth, I'm sorry, not Commonwealth, the um, butternut toast were both still very good to use. That is a problem with some artisan snuffs is, uh, and I don't know, it's probably because they're used, you know, they're sensitive with natural ingredients, natural aromatics, and I think there's a chance for them to go bad. Now, for all you snooze experts out there, I got a serious question. How long is snooze good for? Wait. If that, this is the Moulin Rouge. Oh, yeah, that's the empty container. I just set it over there. Reuse, recycle. So how long is snooze good for? I'm serious. Because I found a tin of snooze, a can of snooze, from 2015. I don't know. It's general mint. I opened up the tin. I smelled it. it didn't smell bad. It was still moist. But remember, I've, this has been refrigerated since I got it. Uh, wow. So I tried some, and it's perfectly fine. This is the general 24 milligram, I believe, if, I'm, if my wife... Who, remember, she has to read everything under magnification. We've got an electronic magnifier right there. And she reads it. Uh, but it's, it's hard, especially if the nicotine uh, ratings are on the side tape. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. It's absolutely fine. So I'll use this up here in the next couple of days. Uh, yeah. So that's a little note on treasures that I found when I went to put something in my snooze fridge and found a whole bunch of classic snuffs from Old Mill. Now, I remember that I had them. It's not like I forgot them in there. But it's good to take them out once in a while, try them. As you see, I just had to throw away a couple of tins. I threw away both tins of Spotted Dick that I had, and I threw away the Moulin Rouge, both of which smelled moldy. Um, and that is a risk with the Old Mill snuffs. I, this is a, kind of a case where I'm going to say, it was better in the good old days, Sonny, you have no idea. But if you were not around during the years that Chef Daniel was busy making absolutely culinary-inspired gourmet snuffs. Uh, if you did not get to smell any of his snuffs, sniff any of his snuffs, you really missed out. Uh, unfortunately, again, I'm not comfortable with sharing used tins. I'd love to send samples. I can't. But uh, if someday we get together, I'll be sure to bring along the old mills I think are still good and pass them around because I think they're definitely worthy of trying. From the Dank Basement, just a quick one, my treasures. I'm Paul Shelbetter. Thanks for watching.